there is seemingly no end in sight to the queues and cancellations. This was Heathrow's Terminal 3, where the line to the start of security was 90 minutes long. At Manchester, Peter found his EasyJet flight was cancelled when he was about to board. He's trying to reach Paris for a friend's funeral and has forked out hundreds to rebook. They just basically said, well, we'll give you money and deal with it. Essentially, like no service is trying to help you reschedule a flight or find other options. Uh, there is no helping desk. There is, you basically, you're on your own. Every person had to find their own way. I... Yeah, it's just my standard kit, so it's my training stuff. Aaron McKibben should be representing Great Britain right now at a para table tennis tournament in Montenegro. But he and 10 teammates had to pull out when their Wizz Air flight was cancelled just hours before departure. In my team, you know, we have a lot of teammates that they needed this competition. You know, they need the tournament credits to be able to compete in the World Championships. So you have, to, you have to play a certain amount of competitions for a year. And this was really, there's only a few left, so it was important they played this. But we've also got a few players that are not actually ranked high enough at the moment. They're not in the qualification spot. So again, really important for them. After days of disruption, ministers have been meeting industry figures to try and resolve the crisis. But it seems there's little room for progress, with all sides now engaged in a somewhat circular blame game. There's clearly uh, been uh, a, a lack of preparation for that surge back of demand of holidaymakers. And Grant Shapps has been talking, the Transport Secretary, has been talking to the industry uh, for months now, saying that this will come and, and, and that you need to make sure you've got your recruitment in place. The half-term holiday, combined with the Jubilee weekend, has created a surge in demand, which an understaffed industry simply cannot meet. Having shed jobs during the pandemic, the sector is now struggling to fill them. If you can get a better hourly rate elsewhere, and the labour markets become more competitive. That's why you see these uh, vacancies. They probably also cut too far. You know, a number of organisations had panic moments uh, at the onset of COVID. Not all the cancellations are last minute. Airlines say the majority are being made well in advance of passengers reaching the airport to reduce the chaos inside. But there are deeper structural issues at play here as a result of Brexit and the pandemic that have seen as many as 12,000 vacancies here at Heathrow Airport alone. And until those problems are fixed, the disruption is only going to continue. And the fear is it could even get worse come the summer. It is certainly a challenge or an issue you cannot solve short term. I think one of the things that we ask national governments to do is to uh, look carefully uh, into these background checks procedures. Um, because even if you hire a person uh, at the airport or at the airline, um, it can take weeks, sometimes months, uh, before the background check is actually, is actually done. And as the finger-pointing continues, it's passengers paying the price. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.